Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on orders over $10. From July 6, 2020 through August 7, 2020, if you use this promo code, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a double Masters Booster Box. Also, there is another way to win where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. And we now know all the cards that are going to be in Double Masters, and of course, those reveals over the last couple of weeks have definitely impacted some card prices. Beyond that, there's a lot of other things going on in the secondary market. A lot of vintage cards are getting hot again, you're going to see that later in the video. But first, a quick reminder before we get started, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. They still have Double Masters VIP packs and boxes on their website for pre-order, and a whole lot more on the website. Also, whenever you use that promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. We'll begin, as we always do, with Standard, and even though there was a major tournament at the MTG Players Tour Championship, there's really not a lot of movement in the Standard format. First off, the big decks were not too surprising, things like Teamer Reclamation, Bant Ramp, but also, too, a lot of players can't sit down and play Paper Standard, and rotation is about to happen this fall. So this format continues to be in a really strange place. Let's get started by looking at the top eight standard legal cards that have lost value this week. Number eight is Under Realm Lich. This goes down 81 cents to 614. This is a little retraction based off some recent increases. This has seen increased commander play in Nethrite Apex of Death builds. Number seven is Temple Garden from Ravnica City of Guilds. It goes down 83 cents to 1533. You'll find this in Bant Ramp, four color reclamation, and more in the format. And even though the shock lands are going to rotate out of standard pretty soon, assuming they're not reprinted in Zendikar, which I don't think they will be, they will still hold a lot of value because they do see play in Pioneer, Modern, and Commander. Number six is the Great Henge. It goes down $1.29 to 2815. Another card that has been going up, so just a little bit of retraction this week. You'll find this one in Mono Green Stompy and more in Standard. It gets a little Pioneer play as well, but it sees a lot of Commander play in various builds. Number five is another Shockland. It is Breeding Pool. Gate Crash goes down a dollar to twenty-two eighteen. Ravnica Allegiance down a dollar forty-six to twenty-three forty-nine. This is losing value this week, even though it is in some of the biggest Standard decks currently. Reclamation builds, various Ramp builds. It's in Flash builds and more. Number four is Heroic Intervention. It is the one from Ether Revolt, though. It goes down $1.47 to nine fifteen. This is a highly played card, but it was reprinted in Core Set 2021, which is why it is soft right now. This is in standard builds like Mono Green Stompy, Gruel Aggro, and more. Modern, this is in Elves build sometimes. This is also a highly played commander card and is seeing more play right now in builds like Renan's Hearing Inseparable and Radha Heart of Keld. Number three is Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, retracting a little bit after a small spike last week. It goes down $221 to $48. This is in so many builds right now in Standard. It's in Reclamation builds, Ramp builds, Bant Flash, Teamer Elementals, and more. In Pioneer, you'll find this in Niv to Light and other decks there. Modern, it's in Reclamation, Control, and again, other decks in that format too. It even sees Legacy and Commander play as well. Number two, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. This continues to lose some value as more Corset 2021 packs get cracked. That copy of the card went down a dollar oh one this week to twenty six ninety six. The Fate Reforged copy goes down two fifty to thirty five forty four. Standard, this is in various ramp builds and more Pioneer in Lotus Breach. In Modern, you'll find this in Tron. It's also a highly played Commander card. Number one is Grim Tutor, the one from Starter nineteen ninety nine. It goes down nine ninety one this week to one sixty nine ninety four. It started to look like it was plateauing last week, but now it drops quite a bit as those Corset 2021 packs continue to be cracked. And of course, this card was reprinted as a mythic there. It is a tutor, so you know it's going to see a lot of commander play, including in competitive decks. This is showing up in new builds in Commander 2, like Tiny Bones Trinket Thief and Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose. All right, now let's look at your top seven standard legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number seven is Castle Arden Vale. It goes up 40 cents to 2.97. You'll find this one in Control Builds, Orzhov Yorian, and more in the standard format. Pioneer, this is in Mono White Devotion and other decks there too. And it does see some commander play as well. Questing Beast is number six. It goes up 40 cents to 17.04. In standard, this is in Mono Green Stompy, Gruel Aggro, and more. This also does see a little Pioneer, Modern, and Legacy play, and also commander play as well. 
Number five, one of the biggest cards that come out of Ikoria, it is Shark Typhoon. It goes up 50 cents to 10.79. In standard, this is all over the place. Reclamation builds, ramp builds, control builds, flash builds, and more. It also has seen Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, Vintage, and Commander play. Number four is Yurok the Desecrated. This goes up 67 cents to 9.79. This doesn't see a whole lot of standard play, but it is a very popular commander. Number three is Hollowed Fountain from Dissension. It goes up 84 cents to 23.74. Now, one copy of the Ravnica Allegiance version of this card is in the Wild Bounty Brawl deck. That did push more copies into the environment, and this card got soft for a little bit. It is starting to move up again now, though. In standard, you'll find this one in ramp builds, control builds, four color reclamation, and more. Number two is Watery Grave from Ravnica City of Guilds. It goes up 93 cents to 1961. Very similar story as the previous card. There was one copy of the Guilds of Ravnica version of this in the Fairy Schemes Brawl deck. It has been soft for a while, starting to go back up now. In standard, you'll find this in Salt I Ramp, Control Builds, and more. Number one, Clothis God of Destiny, going up 96 cents to 9.99. This does see play in Jun Sacrifice sometimes in the side and some other places too in standard. Modern, though, this is in Gruel Midrange, which I think is pushing the price more than anything. Additionally, you'll find this in some other modern builds, and it has even seen a little legacy play. It's also a good commander and gets plenty of play in that format, too. Time to move on to Pioneer in your top six Pioneer illegal cards that have lost value this week. Number six is Alhamerit's Archive from Magic Origins. It goes down $1.35 to 1644. This was recently reprinted in Mystery Booster, so it is a little bit soft right now. This does see a fair amount of commander play and has seen additional play recently in builds like Gabby Nest Warden, Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose, and some other new ones. Number five is Cyclonic Rift, the one from Return to Ravnica. It goes down $1.40 to $31.44. And even though the other copies of this card are soft right now too, this one is losing the most value and made the list today. It does see a little modern play. It's a huge commander card, but it is being reprinted in Double Masters. Number four is Walking Ballista. It goes down $1.51 to $24. In Pioneer, this is in Mono White Devotion. Modern, this is in Tron Builds and more. Legacy and Vintage, you'll find this card as well. And it has seen increased commander play recently in builds like Kin and Bonder Prodigy, Heliod Sun Crowned, and Zexara the Exemplary. So why is it losing value? Because this card is not getting one, but two reprints. You're going to find a foil copy in the Can You Feel with a Heart of Steel Secret Lair. And this is also being reprinted in Double Masters. Number three is Hellkite Tyrant from Commander 2016. This card was spiking a lot recently, mostly because it dried up in the marketplace. This week it goes down $1.55 to $11.34. This is a solid Commander card. Many times you'll find this in Kalia of the Vast Builds, and that is a card being reprinted in Double Masters. Number two is Thoughtseize, another card you're going to find in Double Masters, which is why it's soft right now. The copy from Lorwyn is going down a little bit this week, but these two are moving a lot more. Iconic Master is down $1.43 to $24. Theros down to $13 to $22. In Pioneer, this is in Demir Inverter, Mono Black Aggro, and much more. This also sees Modern Legacy, Vintage, and Commander Play 2. Number one, yet another card that is being reprinted in Double Masters. This is Archangel of Thune, the copy from Iconic Masters. It goes down $311 to $2479 this week. This does see Commander Play and Life Gain and Angel Builds. Okay, on to your top eight Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. Number eight is Growing Rights of It Lamak. It goes up 82 cents to 1995. This is a highly played commander card, and it's seeing some more play now in recent builds like Ren and Siri Inseparable and Z Riz the Writhing Storm. Remember, too, this plays really well with Riz the Redeemed, and that was reprinted not only in Mystery Boosters, but it's also going to be in Double Masters. Number seven is Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, the one from Planar Chaos. This stabilizes a little bit after some wild swings back and forth, going up 90 cents this week to 33.39. You'll find this in Mono Black Vampires, Mono Black Aggro, and more. Also sees Modern and Legacy play too. It has seen increased play in Commander and Zexara builds, and also Tiny Bones Trinket Thief decks. Number six is Door of Destinies from Morning Tide, and another card that has been going back and forth pretty aggressively. This week it goes up a little less, 91 cents to 14.92. So it feels like it is stabilizing. This is seeing increased play in Commander now in builds like Ren and Siri Inseparable and Sethron Herloon General. Number five, Willbreaker, goes up 96 cents to 257. This has seen a lot more commander play recently in Kenrith the Return King builds. Number four, Alenda the Dusk Rose, goes up $1.04 to 2549. Fairly popular commander that gets better now that there's that change in the death trigger role when it comes to commanders. Also, it's in popular decks like Edgar Markov and Tasa Karlov. 
Number three is a comma primal calamity going up a dollar sixty two to thirty one nineteen, and yet again you can see the trend here. Commander has been the key driver for cards going up in value over the last few months, and that is continuing. This card in particular sees Commander playing Dino builds either as a Commander or sometimes behind Gizhath Sun's avatar. Also, this does see play in other builds since it can be used to create loops by bouncing it and untapping lands repeatedly. Number two is Crucible of Worlds from 10th edition. It goes up three forty five to thirty one dollars. This is seeing less play in Modern, Legacy, and Vintage than it was seeing maybe a few months ago, but it is a highly played Commander card, especially in Lands Builds. Number one is Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, going up 359 to 4724. Pioneer, this is in Green Ramp and more. Modern, you'll find this in Tron Builds. Legacy, it's in Mono Green Cloud Post. And it's a great Commander card. Many times it's in Kozilek, the Great Distortion Builds there. Also, too, it has seen increased play in Kin and Bonder Prodigy decks. Okay, on to Modern and your top 5 Modern Legal Cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number 5 is Sword of Fire and Ice for Modern Masters. It goes down 401 to 7639. This does see some Modern and Legacy play with Stoneforge Mystic. Has seen increased play in Commander recently in Cirque Win Hero of Ashvale builds. But it is being reprinted in Double Masters. Number 4 is Avacyn Angel of Hope from Iconic Masters. It goes down 508 to 4597. And this is another card being reprinted in Double Masters. Commonly, this is in Kalia of the Vast Builds, which is also being reprinted in Double Masters. This is also in other decks and is a fairly popular commander as well. Number three is Cavern of Souls. The one from Avacyn Restored goes down 510 to 7297 this week. There's another copy that's relatively stable and another copy going up in value, which we're going to see later in the video. When it comes to this card, though, it sees a ton of play. In Modern, Eldrazi Tron, Amulet Titan, Humans, it also sees play in that new Goblins build that came about when Conspicuous Snoop was printed in Corset 2021. You take that card, Bogart Harbinger, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, Sling Gang Commander, and you got a nice combo there. That's also happening in Commander 2, so this is seeing some increased play in Goblin builds there. It's also just seeing increased play in other decks too, like Winona Joiner of Forces and Renan Siri Inseparable. On top of that, it gets Legacy and Vintage play too. Number two is Grey Pact from 8th edition. Seeing some retraction after some recent increases, this copy goes down 562 to 3248. This does see a lot of commander play, especially in builds like Tasa Karlov and more. It did get better too with that new death trigger rule. Number one is another card that has been spiking recently, normalizing this week. This is Kozilek Butcher of Truth from Rise of the Eldrazi. It goes down 774 to 5822. Many times in Legacy, you'll find this in Mono Green Cloud Post and Commander. Typically, this is in Kozilek the Great Distortion builds. And it has seen increased play in Kin and Bonder Prodigy decks there too. Okay, time for your top six modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Number six is a Chroma's Memorial from Future Sight, going up 340 to 3569. This is another card you might find in Reza Redeemed Commander builds, also showing up in some Radha Heart of Keld decks too. Number five is the other copy of Cavern of Souls I mentioned earlier. This is the one from Modern Masters 2017. It goes up $4.01 to $80. Number four is Parallel Lives. This is a highly played commander card, seeing more play now in Ren and Siri Inseparable and some other new builds. It goes up for twenty to thirty dollars. Number three, Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Innistrad goes up two seventy eight to sixty six fifty. Ultimate Masters goes up five thirty three this week to sixty seven ninety seven. This sees modern play in Jund and also more decks in the format, but it's also seeing some more commander play now in those Tiny Bones decks. Number two is Privileged Position, Ravnica City of Guilds up $1.56 to $12.55. The Guilds of Ravnica Selesnia Guild Kit copy up $5.84 to $17.49. This is seeing more Commander playing now because of the Shrines from Corset 2021. There's a lot of players building Shrine Enchantment decks around Sisse Weatherlight Captain currently, and this card is getting thrown in the mix too. Number one is a card that actually sees modern play. It's Gemstone Caverns going up $6.12 to $42.85 this week. This is in decks like Mono Blue Tron, Eldrazi Tron, Red Midrange, and more. Also, this has seen Commander play in a number of builds. All right, that brings us to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we talk about cards that see play in Legacy, Vintage, 93, 94, or cards that are just popular among collectors. We'll begin with Yawgmoth's Whale from Urza Saga. Now, this is on the reserve list, but it did get a Judge Foil printing before they closed that loophole on the list. It goes up 551 this week to 129.99. This sees vintage play, commander play, it's even seen increased play in Tiny Bones builds there. But I do think part of the reason this card and maybe some others are going up this week is because of the Magic the Gathering Online Vintage Cube. Some of the cards that are featured in that cube that maybe some players either forgot about or never saw before tend to go up every time they bring the cube back. 
Next is Vampiric Tutor, 6th edition up 356 to 9708. Eternal Masters goes up 646 to 11496. This sees vintage play. It's a highly played commander card as well, especially in competitive builds. And of course, this also is showing up in Tiny Bones decks as well. Next, we have Mox Diamond from Stronghold. This is on the reserve list, but it did get a printing in foil and from the Vault Relics before they closed the loophole. It goes up 657 to 399.97 this week. You'll find this one in Legacy Lands, Four Color Loam, and more in that format. Also, this does see play in a lot of commander builds, especially competitive decks. The first of many dual lands on our list today. These are all on the reserve list, so I won't keep saying it. This is Scrubland from Revised. It goes up 746 this week to 234.95. Savannah from Revised up 826 to 223.84. Tundra from Revised up 1059 to 291.20. On the reserve list, but it did get reprinted again and revised. Vesuvian Doppelganger from Unlimited has a pretty big percentage jump this week. And I talked about this the last two weeks or so, but Unlimited cards are definitely getting hot again. You're seeing some random ones spiking like this one. This goes up 1065 to 8361. Winter Orb from Unlimited. Here's another one. It goes up 1297 to 7246. Back to revised dual lands with Underground Sea going up 1451 to 51449. Gilded Drake on the reserve list goes up 1736 to 21945. Many times in Legacy, you'll find this in the sideboards of Vesper Vile or Merfolk. Also, this is a popular commander card, especially again in competitive builds. Mana Crypt, the original book giveaway promo, goes up 1755 to 41892. This just got reprinted in Mystery Boosters. It's getting reprinted again in Double Masters, but this original copy is still rare, hard to find in good condition, and is definitely sought after. This is a great vintage card, great commander card. Again, it does see play in competitive builds too. Bayou from Revise goes up 2152 to 37944. Copy artifact on the reserve list, revised up 356 to 4999. Unlimited goes up 2285 to 17583. This does see a good amount of play in commander and Urza Lord High Artificer builds and others. Power Leech on the reserve list, perhaps a targeted buyout. This goes up 2427 this week to 3292. Tropical Island from Revised that goes up 2589 to 420 this week. Repentant Blacksmith from Arabian Nights has a pretty big jump going up 2680 to 18650. This is not the only copy of the card. You can find cheap copies out there if you want one, but this is again all about collectors zeroing in on the original. Tetsuo Umazawa, this goes up 3223 to 9499. This is on the reserve list and this is a character that actually defeated Nico Bolas back in the day. Gaia's Cradle from Urza Saga on the reserve list, but it did get reprinted as a Judge Foil before they closed that loophole. It goes up 42.25 to 589.55 this week. This card just keeps going up and up. In Legacy, you'll find this in Elves, Maverick, and some other builds there. Vintage, it's in Hollow Vine, and it's a great Commander card. It's great in builds like Reese the Redeemed, Andrin, and Siri Inseparable, for example. Wheel of Fortune from Unlimited on the reserve list, but it did get reprinted again and revised, as well as getting a Judge Foil later on. This goes up 46.21 to 369.95 this week. Great vintage card, great commander card. Next, we have a jumpstart card, and it is the Phyrexian Swamp going up 47.75 to 64.99 this week. I gotta admit, this is pretty cool if I was building like a commander deck around Yogmoth Thran Physician or Carrick Son of Yogmoth, for example. I'm sure as more packs get into circulation and get cracked, this will come down, but right now it is pretty expensive. Next is Lady Evangela on the reserve list, going up 50.51 to $80.58. Nicol Bolas, the original copy from Legends, goes up 53.35 to $139.99. Acid Rain on the reserve list with a very big spike here, going up 62.31 to $127. Another dual land with Volcanic Island, revised goes up 37.83 to $499.90. Unlimited goes up 87.98 to $887.97. Okay, the next five cards are all on the reserve list, so I won't say it repeatedly, but there's also something else I wanted to mention about them. It does appear that their prices are being pushed because there's some new copies entering the marketplace, and the seller, which is actually all the same seller for these next five cards, is asking a slightly higher price than what has been asked. Now, they could be putting that price out there to try to fish for an offer. That's pretty common, but because there's not a lot of these particular cards sold in any given week, it is throwing the data off a little bit, so just keep that in mind for this and the next four cards. First, we have Drop of Honey going up $125 to $539.99. Mox Emerald from Unlimited goes up $279.98 to $2,709.99. 
Time Walk from Unlimited up 285 to $2,684.99. Mox Pearl from Unlimited up 285 to $2,685. And Mox Sapphire from Unlimited up 325 dollars 94 to $2,725.93. In case you haven't seen enough Commander cards yet, I got more for you. Welcome to the Commander Spotlight. We'll start things off with Nakusar the Mind Razor from Commander 2013. This goes up at $1.07 to nine thirty-seven. This is a very popular Commander, and it's being pushed by some new cards from Corset 2021, including Peer into the Abyss. Next is Heartless Hydat Sugu. This is the one from Conspiracy, going up at $1.09 to five forty-six. This has seen increased Commander play recently in Obosh the Prey Piercer builds. This is also seeing more play because of a Corset 2021 card as well, Fiery Emancipation. Those two cards play really well together as long as you have a way to stay alive yourself, like Angel's Grace or Platinum Angel, for example. Last Chance from Starter 1999 continues to go up another $1.10 to $25.99 this week. This does see a little commander play, but for the most part it just dried up in the marketplace recently. Maybe there is a little interest in this because of discontinuity from Corset 2021. Krill Tutor, this goes up at $1.13 to $49.88. Another tutor in black, probably not a coincidence that a lot of people are building around tiny bones right now. But of course, these tutors are going to be great in Commander generally. Honden of Cleansing Fire from Champions of Kamigawa goes up at $1.17 to $4.12. Of course, this is getting a push because of those Corset 2021 shrines. A lot of players are taking the old shrines and the new shrines and putting them in the Sisei Weather Light Captain builds. Tooth and Nail from Meriden goes up at $1.18 to $21.21. This does see Commander play in a number of builds, including Kin and Bonder Prodigy, and also in Riku of Two Reflections, which is being reprinted in Double Masters. Maelstrom Wanderer from Eternal Masters goes up at $1.20 to $22.99. This is a very popular Commander. Ruby Medallion from Commander 2014 goes up at $1.25 to $15.25. This card has been hot recently. This whole cycle is awesome for Commander in general. This one in particular is seeing a little more play because of cards like Fiery Emancipation, which we mentioned earlier. Also, there are some new legendary creatures that could be pushing this too in various builds. Things like Xerzoth Chaos Rider, Sabira Telzidi Caravaner, Muxus Goblin Grandy, and more. Remember, Krenko Mob Boss got reprinted recently in Jumpstart too. Sarah Ascendant from Magic 2011 up $1.35 to $15. Many times this is in life game builds. This has seen increased play recently too in Heliod Sun Crowned and Inyaz the Gale Force decks. On top of that, it sees a little legacy play as well. Kikijiki Mirror Breaker from Champions of Kamigawa up at $1.35 to $29.13. So I mentioned earlier why this card was going up in value. It is seeing some increased modern play in those goblins builds. But also that combo we talked about is viable in Commander as well. So it is seeing some additional Commander play too. A couple of the big commanders that are running this right now are Krenko Mob Boss and Muxus Goblin Grandy. Conqueror's Flail. This goes up at $1.36 to $16.50. And this has seen increased play in Sir Gwyn Hero of Ashvale builds. This is also found many times in Goto Bandit Warlord decks, and that is being reprinted in Double Masters. Memory Jar from Urza's Legacy, on the reserve list, but did get a reprinting in Foil and From the Vault Relics. This has seen increased play in Zira's The Writhing Storm builds recently. This goes up at $1.37 to $21.81. Jet Medallion from Commander 2014, another medallion going up at $1.37 to $29. And this one, of course, has seen increased play in decks like Tiny Bones and Vito Thorn of the Dusk Grows. Urza Lord High Artificer up at $1.48 to $41.98. This is a highly played commander. Also found in Brea and Therium Shaper builds, and of course that is being reprinted in Double Masters, as well as most of the cards in that deck, I think. Beyond that, this does see play in Modern Wurza builds, and also does get some legacy play too. Time Spiral, still here, still going up. It is on the reserve list up at $1.52 to $1.23.37. This has seen increased play in Zira's The Writhing Storm, Brawlin' and Shabra's. Also, too, remember the Locust God was recently reprinted in Commander 2020 as well. Luminarch Ascension from Zendikar. This goes up at $1.55 to $9.44. This has seen increased play in a number of new builds, including Ineas the Gale Force, Mangara the Diplomat, and Heliot Sun Crowned. Mana Vault, classic Commander card, sees play in a lot of different builds, including competitive ones. Also sees vintage play. Ultimate Masters goes up a dollar to $61 this week. Revised up at $1.64 to $50.80. Force of Negation. This card sees play everywhere, right? It goes up at $1.66 to $43.97. In Modern, it's in Control Builds. Legacy, Teamer, Delver, and much more there. Vintage Blue Xerox, and a whole lot more in that format too. But now it's seeing more and more play in Commander, especially as Competitive Commander becomes more popular. Ancient Tomb from Ultimate Masters. This is a highly played Commander card. Also sees Legacy and Vintage play. It goes up at $1.69 to $43.21. 
Earthcraft on the reserve list, $1.69 to eighty three ninety nine. This is in Reese the Redeem builds many times. Also has seen increased play in Zeris the Rising Storm. Quisali Slingers from Commander 2017, $1.91 to six twenty four. This was reprinted recently in foil in the OMG Kitty Secret Layer. This has been seeing play in Arabo builds for a long time, but now it's seeing more play in Ren and Siri Inseparable decks. Goblin Sharpshooter from Onslaught. This has been hot for a little while now, for the same reasons that Kiki Jiki's been hot in Commander. This goes up $1.93 to 1947. Additionally, though, this is seeing some increased play in Kelsey and the Plague builds, too. Enlightened Tutor from Eternal Masters. This is a highly played Commander card and has seen increased play in those to say whether like Captain builds we've been talking about. Also, many times this is in Brea Ethereum Shaper builds, which, as you know, is in Double Masters. This goes up 206 to 4687. Lotus Veil vale on the reserve list, and it does see some commander play in a few different builds. It goes up 215 to $21. Primordial Hydra from Magic 2013 goes up 249 to 2499. This has seen increased play in Zixar the Exemplary decks. Thrumming Stone up 249 to 4824. This card got popular recently when the Year of the Rat Secret Layer came out. But now this has gotten pushed even more by a new Jumpstart card. A lot of players are building mill decks around Bruvac the Grandiloquent. They're throwing in Persistent Petitioners. Obviously this card is going to be perfect there. Ren and Six goes up 331 to 6354. In Commander you'll find this in Lord Windgrace and some other builds in the format. It is banned in Legacy but does see play in Modern. This is in Jun there. Also sometimes grow mid-range and more. Beyond that it does get vintage play as well. Squandered Resources. This is on the reserve list. It goes up 385 to 2497. This is found in Commander Lands builds. Sometimes you'll find this in Legacy of Lauren too. Silver Queen. This is the Silver Lord that is on the reserve list. It goes up 398 to 20997. Silver Commander decks have been popular since the reprinting of Silver Overlord and Silver Hive Lord. Replenish on the reserve list goes up 458 to 6181. And of course, this is seeing play in those to say whether like Captain decks. Power Artifact on the reserve list up 540 to 2 1999 Classic Combo Enabler and Commander. Here's another card for those to say whether like Captain builds with the Shrines. This is Argothian Enchantress from Eternal Masters. It goes up 570 to 2382. Cabal Coffers from Plane Chase goes up 598 to 9925. This is a highly played Commander card. Works very well with Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth, which we saw earlier. This has seen increased play in Tiny Bones builds. Also Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose decks. However, I think there's a little more to this card and probably other cards that we've seen today, like Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth. Remember, we now know all the cards that are in Double Masters, so we know which cards are not in Double Masters, and that includes cards like this. And this one too, Scroll Rack from Tempest. It goes up 1165 to 9999. Highly played Commander card, especially good in Yuriko the Tiger Shadow builds. Survival of the Fittest from Exodus on the reserve list, but it did get a reprinting as a judge foil before they close the loophole. It goes up 2524 this week to 16475. This has seen some increased play in Commander Cathril Aspect Warper builds. All right, that brings us to the premium spotlight. Quickly, you know my disclaimer by now. I don't like to spend too much time on rare promos or foils because if you don't have a lot of sales of a card in any given week online, then the data can sometimes be skewed and even worse at times manipulated. But I like to pick one card that feels like it is moving for the most part naturally with the market every week. This week I went with a card that we talked about earlier in the video. It is Ren and Six. The foil from Modern Horizons goes up 1189 this week to 274.48. All right, that does it for this episode of the Market Watch. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.